Your opponent cannot counter target blue eyes white dragon in your monster zone with card effects. Uh... Oh, there's halves of all of them now. <laughs> <laughs> you have fallen from my trap. Because blue eyes is eight, you have to tribute summon two monsters. I have no other monsters. Um, that's why you can special summon a monster. What does that mean? We both start with 8,000 life points. <laughs> 8,000? Oh, hello. I've never once played Yu-Gi-Oh! I know nothing about it, but I know quite a lot about Magic the Gathering. In fact, I'm the Magic the Gathering professor. I figure that my skills with one card game should carry over to the other, and I'm going to demonstrate that here today because I've brought Paul of Team <laughs> APS, one of the largest, you're one of the largest Yu-Gi-Oh! channels out there. Thank you, thanks for having me. Thanks, thanks for, having for me. coming. How easy do you think it's gonna be for me to just pick up Yu-Gi-Oh! having never played, and we're just, we're just gonna jam through a game? I mean, you know, everything should transfer over fine. I don't have any concerns. No Yu-Gi-Oh! is a little different. But it's not that bad, I promise, I promise. I'm gonna beat you, and just in case, I'm sure I'm gonna beat you, and just in case I need any help along this way, I've got the duel, duel spirits. Oh, do you? Coming okay. here to help me. You might recognize my duel spirits here of Alec of Team APS and Larry of Team APS. Hmm, familiar faces. In case I make any minor, I mean, it's understandable that there might be a minor error or two or a question along the way, and you'll be here to help me out, right? Oh, yeah, it's fine, definitely. we got you. All right, but I, I can't imagine I really need you for anything. Uh, we shuffle up, right? Yeah, we shuffle up, we're shuffling up. Yeah, shuffle the cards. This deck was provided by Team APS. I have no idea what it is or what it does, but I'll, I'll figure it out. You're an expert. Nope. Yep. Present to your opponent. You present to your opponent? Yep. Oh yeah, for a cut. Oh, okay, cut me there. That's This is just like magic. I'm gonna have no problem at all. In magic, we do this as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, easy start. No problem. And I assume uh, we're gonna draw seven cards. No. Five. No. Yeah. So, no? so in Yu-Gi-Oh, we actually start by drawing five. Okay. Cards. This is why I have my dual spirits here. It's a reasonable mistake. It's seven in Pokemon too. I think I should know. I have a large how to play Pokemon. It's totally seven in Pokemon. All right. So oh, wait. I just drew seven. Hang on. No. Five. All right. Five cards. Now I can yeah, look at them and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's small writing. <laughs> Wow, hang on, excuse me one second here. I just need to get my glasses. Are you, are you, are you into reading novels? Just need to, ah, wow. Okay, now that doesn't help. There we go, okay. I, it's, it's fine, all right, either all right. it gets better or you go blind. Okay, now do you mulligan in Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you mulligan? No. What's that? Okay, that in Magic you mulligan where if you don't like your hand, you can draw a new hand, but then you get one less card than your original hand as penalty uh, for getting into the Oh, we, so we do like have that. that. You, you do have that. that. Yeah, you surrender and you go to game two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have to keep this. Yes. So, but I'm I'm screwed because it doesn't look like I have any resources. So I only have spells, but I have no resources to pay for these spells. I don't know what the resources in Yu-Gi-Oh! are. It's like a gemstone and magic, it's mana. I have no mana, in other words. Well, well, so no, playing spells are free. You can play, so long as you meet certain requirements, you can play as many as you want. You mean there's no cost? Nope. No. The only limit is what you can imagine. Well, then we're in trouble. <laughs> Why can't I just play all of them at once? I just go, all right, boom. I won't show them, but I just go, boom. I play five, I win, right? Well, uh, um, each card has a condition attached to it in its effect. It's, where's its effect? Okay, here, we'll reveal. I'm going to reveal... That tiny scribble at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to reveal a spell card here, just so we figure this out. If you control blue eyes, white dragon, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. So destroy all creatures, right, I guess. Blue eyes, white dragon you control cannot attack the turn you activate this card. Yeah, right. So, so the requirement for this is you have to control a blue eyes, white dragon. Uh, Otherwise, you cannot activate this but card. So I can play this for zero mana at instant speed if I control blue eyes, white dragon. I don't know what that meant. Yeah. <laughs> yes. sure. Zero no. mana, during, instant during, speed. During your turn, yes. Okay, zero. So I have, so, but if I can play anything, I play my blue eyes, white dragon. No, it's not see, that simple. You said it was free. At, at the top. <laughs> Certain monsters have levels. You see how, you know, all these little stars. That's, this is a, Do I have to add all those up? No. Thank but God. Not yet. If monsters who are four and below levels can be played sometimes, <laughs> you could just summon them 
you know, free. So why can't I just put it down? Because it has eight. So if it has five to seven, you have to tribute summon one monster in order to normal no summon No idea it. what any of because, that means. Because blue eyes is eight, you have to tribute summon two monsters. I have no other monsters. Um, that's why you but can special what? summon a monster. What does that mean? I can <laughs> special summon, but I don't have a monster. For certain cards, for example, let's, let's, let's read All right. Let's read this one. This reading the card explains the card. Sometimes. Yes. yes. Holy so, crap, that's a yes. lot of text. So that's this, this is a purple, magenta, wherever you want to call it. So this is a trap card. It's pink. Wherever you want to call it. Wherever you want to call it. Wherever you want to call it. Sure. The trap cards have to be set on your turn, and you cannot activate them the turn they're set. Most of the time. Most of the time. We're not going to get into all of that. Um, so let's read this one. Oh my god, it is like a novel. Okay, this says, your opponent cannot counter target blue eyes white dragon in your monster zone with card effects. If this face up card is sent from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard, destroy, to the graveyard, yes. destroy all monsters you control. Uh, you can only use the following effect of the light once per turn, you can activate one of these effects. Mm -hmm. Effect one, special summon one, blue eyes, white dragon. Okay, so if I understand this card correctly, I don't need to read the rest of it. I already got it, I got it. Oh, you're a yeah, real Yu-Gi-Oh you player. Yeah. I put Just this like card down, player. face down. Yes. This is a trap. Yes. There's a condition, I don't know the condition yet, but the condition will make this card turn up, up and this card turning up means right now you can't counter my blue eyes because it turned up and I get to pick one of the two, go get a blue eyes or go do some other stuff I don't want to do because I want to get a blue eyes. You're partly correct. All right. So, yes, you set a face down. Yeah. And then during your opponent's turn, because it's a trap, you can activate traps on your opponent's turn. You will activate so have to the- wait for his turn. Yes. yes. You'll flip a face up and you say, I want to activate this card. And then you will pick one of the two little bullets, then say, okay, I want to activate this effect. And you read the first one, special summon one blue eyes from your hand to graveyard. You special summon your blue eyes and it's there. Okay. These are all trap cards. These are spell cards. Yes. And spells cannot be used during your opponent's turn. Unless so they're, they're a quick sorcery. play spell. They're instants. Yes. So they're sorceries unless they're instants. Mm -hmm. I'm not right. sure what sorcery you're speaking, but this sure. It's a sorcery. It's a spell. You use a source. Sorcery can only be played on your turn, mm -hmm. and an instant can be played on either turn. Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay. So okay. that's, yeah. So quick spell is like an instant. Uh, so what do I do? So here's, here, let's go back. Let's. All right, let's Rewind go back. The clock. All right, so we're we're on the clock stuff. All right, all right. So looking at you, you have hand. to pretend that I don't have any of these cards, Paul. Yeah, you, I haven't seen a thing. Right. No cheating. No cheating. Um. So let's go back. Let me so get two people so, to help. So me. at the beginning of your turn, you go. Yeah. You go. Okay. I got these two traps right here. Yeah. I can't get blue eyes on field yet, but I have a way to do so. Right. On his turn. Yep. So we're gonna set that one down. Face down. Face, yeah, face down. You didn't <laughs> see that. You gotta make sure it back. Does it have to be on one of these squares? It has to be. Yes. See, Why? we have the we have the monster zone, yeah. we have the spell zone, then we have the extra monster zone. So it's probably a faux pas to put spells and monsters in the wrong order. That's like lands in front and magic. Yes. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do put that. Put that down. Here. That's a faux pas. Yeah. So we'll put that there. Okay. You, you have one more. I have another trap card. Yeah, you can put this, that. This one says a whole bunch of crap. Here, let, let's read that one too. Okay. Look away. Yeah. Look away, Paul. So this one says. Target one. I think that's a one. Yes. Blue eyes monster you control this turn. That face up monster is unaffected by card effects. Has hexproof. Uh, except its own hexproof for sure, because shroud would mean its own can't do it itself. Sure. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, any opponent's monster it battles is destroyed at the end of the damage step. I'm, I'm already lost. Well, this card is in your graveyard. If you normal or special summon a blue eyes white dragon, you can set this card but banish it, but when it leaves the field, you can only use the effect, but the ultimate creature of destruction is once per, something like that. That's a lot. <laughs> just go ahead and just flip that face down. Yeah. So we're gonna put this, put a face down. All right, great. And then- You have completed your first turn I thought you, you win on turn one in Yu-Gi-Oh. I feel like we're behind. Well, <laughs> technically, <laughs> te technically this is shouldn't we have won? Technically, this is turn zero. His okay. turn will be turn one. All right. So, all right. So Paul. now you're done. So you say in phase. But it's turn zero. Yeah. In, in phase. In phase. In, in, in turn. Do I draw? No. 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 The player and goes first. Is not true. I end phase. I end phase. All right. On my turn then. Well, I but it's to... turn zero for Paul, right? It'll be turn one. It'll be turn one. How come I got a turn? He didn't do anything. Turn. He didn't lay any traps. Oh, that'll ha that might be happening. Soon. 
on my first turn. Okay. So I start my turn. All right. I draw one card. Yeah. In my draw phase. All right. Then I go to my standby phase. Uh -huh. The standby phase is open play. Anybody who has anything that they can activate. But neither of these are instants. They are not. Right. right. But. Yeah, so. Oh, but, but it's his turn. Yes. So, aha, Paul. Yes. You have fallen into, and I've seen this from the commercial. <laughs> you have fallen from my trap, into my trap. You have fallen into my trap. For you see, I am summoning a blue eyes white dragon, which you cannot counter, correct? Correct, actually. Uh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I don't yeah. need to go to Team APS's YouTube channel and watch their how to play tutorial. I picked it all up by myself. Yep, right. before you did. Yes. Through my brilliance. Most of the game, right there. So, um, now I get to go to my main phase, and this is where Does I Does can... this resolve? This has happened, yes. though. Yeah. All right, look I at will me. say that normally, if this was happening, you would, I guess, tell me which effect you're activating. And at that the point- The one that gives me the dragon. And at that point, if I had an effect that I could respond to it with, yeah. this would be the time I could. Mm. This says but you can't, can't as, be countered. Because as a matter of fact, this is a good thing, this is a good point to explain chain links. How, in Magic, how do y'all... We call it the stack. And it's stack. first one in, last one out. So if I play a spell, yep. and then Paul wants to counter that spell, the countering of my spell resolves first, and then my spell yep. fizzles. That's, that's exactly how yes. it works in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. All right, see, except, this is why I don't need to... Um, except multiple, one card can have multiple links in the chain. And we'll, 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 yeah, we'll, get, yeah, there. we'll, we'll get, get there. there. We'll yeah. get there. All right, all right. There's right. nothing you need to worry about. Right I now. know how the stack works. There's no if. All right, so I'm going to start my turn by normal summoning my Magician's Rod. Can I counter that? Not at the moment. No. So when it's normal summon, I get to add a spell or trap card. I don't know what the equivalent of that is in Magic, but a spell or trap card from my deck to my hand that specifically lists the card Dark Magician in its text. Right. And I get to add it to my hand. So I'm going to activate my monster's effect. This is a big, yeah, okay. Yeah. This is a big thing he's doing here. Yeah. It's, he's getting a spell or trap that lists Dark Magician in his name. Okay, sure. That's very magic. So I will be shuffling and I can offer my deck to you. Uh, I cut. trust you. Yeah, okay, so. Never trust your opponent. No, no, this is, this is a, a community leader of the, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh community. But he's our enemy. Right. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to next activate my Dark Magical Circle. Mm -hmm. So when this card is activated, I get to look at the top three cards in my deck. Reveal a Dark Magician or a Spell or Trap that lists Dark Magician and add it to my hand. And I put the remaining cards on top of my deck in any order I want. And now I'm going to actually form a chain myself. Before this starts resolving, I can activate this Quick Play Spell card from my hand, Soul Servant. So it lets me place a card on the top of my hand, deck, or graveyard that is Dark Magician or mentions Dark Magician. So, so I'll get he's to put it tutoring. On top of my deck. He's tutoring for Dark Magician is what we'd say in Magic. He's gonna tutor for Dark Magician so at instant speed. I will use this effect to put a trap card called Eternal Soul that mentions Dark Magician in its text. Now, if he tries to get rid of our blue eyes, we just flip this upside down and he right. can't do it. You're right. Yes. Right. Do you don't know I have that though? Yeah. What have what? Yeah, right. There. Yeah. See, you would trust me. Yeah, as so I put this on top of my deck, and this card goes to the grave, and now this one looks at the top three cards of my deck and lets me add one of them to my hand if it mentions Dark Magician. So I'll be looking at the top three cards, and this one that I just put on does mention Dark Magician, so I can add it to my hand. The other two go on the top of my deck in any order, so I'll just do it like this. I guess a quick explanation on why he was able to do that, because he played a normal that normal spell that at spell speed one, instants or quick play cards that are spell speed two can always chain on top of spell speed one card. I understood none of that. Okay, <laughs> so think of it like in numbers. Magic, he was magic. able to do it because of magic. Because Ma of magic. Yeah, imagination. Next, I'm going to activate my Preparation of Rites. So this is another spell that I can use to add a level seven or lower ritual monster from my deck to my hand. Ritual monsters are blue, whereas normal monsters are orange. Well, normal monsters are yellow, and then effect monsters are orange, and then ritual... But How many colors are, are there? Blue. There's five colors in Magic. Quite a bit. <laughs> How many colors in Yu-Gi-Oh? This um, yellow, orange, orange, purple, black. Black, white, white, blue, blue, blue with the hexagon pattern. Blue with the hexagon, with the hexagon pattern. Then there's um, then there's the half blue, half, half blue, blue, half, half orange. Half, oh, there's halves of all of them now. There's halves of many of them. Yes. Oh god, so there's, there's a half half colors. Yeah, we have half yeah, colors. So I wish so we had some, but we don't. 
So thanks to my preparation of rites, I get to get Illusion of Chaos in my hand. It's a ritual monster. Normally with ritual monsters, I would be trying to like play a certain spell and tribute a certain amount of monsters. We're gonna just skip all that and just use another effect. So, um, so just, but all he's doing is digging for cards. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. It's just a start, you know, no big deal. So I'm going to use the effect of my Illusion of Chaos. It activates in my hand, so it technically isn't even on the field, but I just reveal it to you and I get to add from my deck to my hand a Dark Magician or a non-ritual monster that mentions it, and then I place a card from my hand on top of the deck. So, I'll use my Illusion of Chaos, and it's going to get... Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about this right now, but since Blue Eyes White Dragon has a big 3,000 attack, he still needs to figure out a way to get over it. Well, if this has got a 3,000 attack, one attack with this will kill him, right? Because like he's like, I'm imagining 20 life. 20 life? 40 life, 50 life, how many life points does he, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess 50 life points, 100 life points. Multiply that, yeah, by maths. By math. We, uh, we both start with 8,000 life points. <laughs> 8,000? 8,000. Yes. So this will do 3,000. What a weak card, it can't even kill him in one hit. Well, Can we pump it up? It's one, of the, strong, it's one yeah. of the strongest ones. All right. So I'm going to be getting Magician Souls yeah. to my hand. And that means that I can put a card on top of my deck. The card that I'm going to put on top is actually going to be him. So we got top. It's on top, right? I've got to reread this. You don't know, you know what your own cards because, do? Listen, I don't read the cards. I just play them. Oh, OK. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Custom. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu custom. You don't right. read the cards. You just play the cards. OK. OK, next I'm going to activate another monster, my Magician Souls. So to activate this monster, I actually send a monster from my deck to the graveyard as a cost. So I'll send my Dark Magician from my deck to the graveyard to activate mm -hmm. Magician yeah, Souls. Yeah, he wants to get that Dark Magician. Magician Souls effect lets me either summon it, or I can send this to the graveyard and summon a Dark Magician or Dark Magician girl um, from my graveyard. So. We're gonna, we're gonna want to do it. No, it's what, fine. What, we, we, got it, we got it. We got it. No, let, let him make, let right? him make, let him make his no. little plays. All right. Be, I don't know. Alex okay. says we should do something right now. No, we no? good. No. So I'm going to be sending magician souls to the graveyard so that I can summon my dark magician to right. the field. I'll summon dark magician to the field. So now, since I summon dark magician, this activates the effect of my spell card, dark magical circle. Whenever a dark magician is normal or special summoned, I can target a card that you control and banish it. We're about to get steamrolled here. Maybe so, not. So, let me read what all of these cards do, just to make sure. You don't know what, I don't, nobody knows what these cards do. You're like, you know, yeah. You gotta keep reading them over and over yeah. again. I don't know what these cards Ooh, do. Quick thing too, whenever, yeah. so, whenever a, a Yu-Gi-Oh card says, target a card. Uh huh. They have to declare that target as soon as they activate that effect. So if this, for instance, his dark magical circle says target one card, he has to tell us what he intends on trying to banish or get rid of, and we're allowed to respond okay. accordingly. All right. Okay, so I'm going to be targeting your copy of True Light, so it will be banished from the field. All right, you quick explanation. Right, what do we do? Oh, we're going to turn this card over. Before we get there. You have activated my trap card. <laughs> Wait, first you have to explain uh, what banishing even is. Exile. More what? or less, it doesn't go to the grave. It doesn't go right. to the grave. Exile. It gets banned. I don't know what that means. And what does it sound like it means? It sounds like it It, it goes, it's exiled. It's off, the, out of the game, out of play. Okay. Out of play. Yes. All right, okay. Exiled. All right. Exiled. 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 Okay. It's very, so if I can understand Yu-Gi-Oh from magic terms, you should be able to understand magic from Yu-Gi-Oh terms. We're getting there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exiled. Okay. Out, of, out of the game. Banishing I feel, I feel like exiled. you're teaching me things. Yeah. <laughs> We're both learning. I wonder if we could make a deck with magic cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, and God. <laughs> so. All right, yes. back to the problem at hand. So, <laughs> the problem at hand. So Dark Magical Circle is going to target your true light trap card. All right, all right, all right. You have activated my trap card, sir. What? Huzzah! I am going to, what does this do? Uh, I am going to target Blue Eyes Monster I control this turn, that face-up monster is unaffected, ah, by by uh, card effects. So this is a Blue Eyes Monster card? No. 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 You, that's the monster card. That's, but he's going for this card. For a very good reason. Yeah, we're gonna explain All it. All right. So you, we're still gonna do that, and you're gonna target. So I'm gonna give my uh, Blue Eyes Hexproof. So now, like you said, our, the chain resolves. Right. So we're does going, this, so we're stacking. This does the stack resolve. Yeah, so I guess this resolves first, right. which I don't even know what this does. You know, it's, I'm beginning to detect a pattern is that Yu-Gi-Oh players don't know what any of their cards do, because every single card, and before we were filming, they were reading it all intricately. So it's not like this is the first time they're seeing it. It's weird. And these are your cards. These are not my cards. It, it just happens. It just be like that. 
So. All right. <laughs> so yeah. So after okay. resolve. All right. This is hex proof. Yeah. And then this would be banished. And this so is this exiled. Okay. Yes. This is exiled. I'm going to put it out here. So this is already its effect has resolved. So we'll to, go the to the grave. So there's no way to bring anything back from the banished zone ever. Right? Oh, there is. Oh. Okay. So it's the same with exile. There's a few ways to do that with exile too. Anyway, so my blue eyes has hex proof. Okay, because and that's important because normally when true light is removed from the field, it actually destroys all of your monsters. But since we hex proof the blue eyes, he stays. Mm. And now you still have to deal with our 3,000 attack monster. That, that is still hex proof for the rest of this turn. All right. And I am powerless to deal with that monster. Perhaps. We shall see. I'm going to I'm set. Gonna win. Yeah. I will set two cards face down. How do you get so many more cards than us? He just searched so much during his turn. It seems, that seems, I don't know, that seems really Maybe even sus. three cards face down. How does he have more cards than us? That's weird. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go, go on. I am not strong enough to deal with your monster, so I'm going to end my turn. We win. You get a All free right. pass. We win. Draw one card. Yes. One card. All right. Bingo. Yes. This is exactly what we were looking for. Mm -hmm. Do you have any shenanigans to declare? I have no shenanigans to declare. Yes, no we should call us the shenanigans phase. I like yeah. that. That's what we should start doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shenanigans phase. I have no shenanigans. He has no shenanigans to declare. So now we're in main phase. Now we're main. Uh, I want to kill him with my white dragon. I want to well, attack we have him. to, you know, right? you got to get there. Yeah, let's let's, back let's read up. what this card does, actually. That's probably a good idea. Okay, so this card says that I reveal three cards from my deck that each meets at least one of the criteria listed below. Oh, my God. Um, you know, something. I think we should just attack. I think this is, probably does nothing. So you let's... technically can just attack. If you want just to. come at him. Okay, does this have flying? What? Does the dragon fly? What? I mean, um, I, I mean, in the context I mean, in the of... Picture, it looks like it flies. Does he have any creatures that can block? No. no. Okay. So it's and and so if I attack with the dragon, as it currently stands, he has nothing that can block it from hitting him and hitting him. As it currently For stands, three thousand yes. points. Yes. I attack you and we turn it like this, right? We no, no, that's defense mode. Okay, oh, that's God. defense mode. You tap to defend in magic. That would be a noob move. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. Either way, you. What do you want to attack? You can attack yeah. dark magician. <laughs> I want to attack Paul. Oh, oh. I want to attack Paul in the so face. You have, to you have to clear all the monsters off the board before you can attack the person. He said he didn't have any monsters. He's, I got to get his monsters off the board? Yes. yes. That's lame. Well, which one should I attack? Well, if you want to try to go for more damage, yes. you can attack Rod. If you just want to get rid of, because Dark Magician is, you know, strong in his own right. If you just want to What's his wanna... Dark Magician's defense? <laughs> You go if he, since Dark Magician is in attack position, which is straight up. Yeah. You go off his attack. Okay. What's his attack? Twenty five. And I'm three thousand. He yes. only has twenty five. Yes. <laughs> Hundred. Dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Less so, but still. So I'm bigger. Yes. For sure. I kill. I. I I'm going to. Uh, what do you do for attack? This. Yeah. That's fine. So we are now declaring our attack on your puny Dark Magician. My Dark Magician will be destroyed. After attack, or yeah. during the damage step, since his monster was in attack and yours was in attack, he takes the difference in attack points in damage to his life points. So because the difference was 500, he will take 500 points of damage. Okay. So it's this has trample. Yeah. I trampled over his Dark Magician to have 500 points step on Paul. Essentially, all your monsters has trample, as long as they're attacking another okay. monster. All creatures attacking. have trample, makes sense. Yeah, so my Dark Magician uh, will be destroyed. All right. And it goes to the graveyard. So since we've successfully trampled his monster, right. we don't have any trampled. other monsters. There's trampled, not, yeah, there's, it's trampled. There's not a whole lot we can do. I've got three cards. Can I do any of these cards? In just a moment. They're all sorceries. So we have to move out of our battle phase and go back into our main phase. So this is our second main phase. Second main phase. Main phase. Two, two. Do you call it that? Yeah. We call it second main. See? Yu-Gi-Oh players and magic players. More like Don't say it in the wrong spaces. Nope. So <laughs> we can yes. activate some of these. Let's do some. Which one are we doing here? We are going to do that one. Bingo. 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 Uh, <laughs> down here, down here, down, down here. here, down here. Okay. Bingo. So I'm going to reveal three cards from my deck that each meet at least one of the criteria listed below. My opponent randomly picks one. Oh, it's fact or fiction. Uh, kind of, not really. Okay, not even close. All right, so I'm going to, I get three cards that meet a criteria. Yep. Get yeah. three, and then Paula will pick one that I get you randomly. Pick, you pick them, more or less, you can, after you pick right. them, you show them which ones you want. 
Okay. You put them face down and let him chew. So the effect is blue eyes monster or a soul trap. Yes. Should we go for a soul trap to keep him trapped? Let's look at our options. You, you built this. It's your deck, Larry. There's a lot of options. You literally, I watched you build this. We can get another one of those. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. We can get this. All right. We can get another one of those. All right, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Hey. Here, take them out. <laughs> All right, take them out, all right. Yeah. There's, we're gonna get these three. Boom. So put them face down. All right. Kind of give them a little. A little this, all right. Yeah. So Paul will discard one at random. Choose your destiny. I choose the middle card. All right, that's the one that's discarded. Nope, it goes to your hand. Just, oh, that goes to my hand. That's, yes. These are discarded to graveyard? Oh, these go to graveyard? See, we don't, oh, we're gonna double check with Yep. <laughs> No, they, they, they go back into your deck. Okay, we'll shuffle this in a sec. I'll shuffle that up. And he doesn't get to see it, but that's what you get. All right, look at that. So now we're gonna, now I have just a little thing in store for you, my friend. Just a little thing in store. Yeah, maybe don't telegraph it like that. Well, but if I put it face down, he knows he's, it's a he, trap. He's, is there any card I'd put face down that isn't a trap? I mean, you could have put it into your hand, and then like, never mind, never mind, never mind. We're, we're good, we're fine, we're fine. Careful you don't fall next turn. I hope to suspect, not. He doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to actually use a trap card of my own yeah. before you end your turn. I'm going to activate my Eternal Soul. So this card actually lets me special summon a Dark Magician from my hand from my graveyard. So I'm going to counter. Oh, go back. <laughs> we can't, no. We have to let him, we don't okay. have anything that can counter right all now. All right, all right. I didn't actually read what the card did because it's like, it's so small. Yeah. yeah. I'm That's going to summon my Dark Magician from my graveyard. And that's useful because since I summoned a Dark Magician, I can use my spell card, Dark Magical Circle, and target one of your cards to banish it. Like last time, you guys got... My trap has been activated. No, it hasn't. No, no, we, no it hasn't. We, we, no, we, no, we, no. We just said used. it, so we can't... We yeah. can't they can't be the turn this. Okay, okay. So my dark magical circle is going to banish your blue eyes white dragon. Do either of these save my blue eyes? Let's go ahead and banish it. Let's go ahead and banish it. Banished it. Boo. And now, I draw for my turn. Blue eyes, more like boo eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It does feel like that right now, I can't lie. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start my turn by activating another Illusion of Chaos. So, I get to add a Dark Magician card to my hand. This ain't good. It's not good, you say. It's not good. Mm. But it's okay, we have 8,000 life points, so. Yeah, we're at 8,000. That's yeah. insane. Fine, you'll make it He's at 7,500. Yeah, yeah, we're technically we're winning. We're winning. Okay, okay. Would you like to concede? <laughs> you do know we do a trick in magic? where you try and trick your opponent into shaking your hand, and then that means they conceded. Wow. And so like in tournaments for a while, people would do something like, you're playing best of three, and it's it's game one, and they won, and you go, oh, yeah, like this. And then they're like, oh, judge, he shook my hand, it means he conceded. It's wow. so dirty. So the card I'm gonna be getting is my Magician Souls to yeah. my hand, and with uh, Illusion of Chaos, I have to put it back on top of my deck. All right. All right, next I'm going to activate Magician Souls again. So, like last time, I just have to send a Dark Magician or a level six or higher spellcaster from my deck to the graveyard. I'm gonna send my Dark Magician girl to the graveyard. And then I can summon Magician Souls or I can summon the card that I sent. In this case, I am going to summon my Magician Souls to the field. I don't get how we each started with five cards and he has so many more cards than me. It just happens sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's just, I don't get that. We should have the same number of cards. Then, you uh, is not fair. Like so that. I'm gonna use my Soul Servant card. I banished this from my graveyard, and this lets me draw one card for every Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl on the field or in the graveyard. So since I have one Dark Magician and one Dark Magician Girl, I'll get to draw two cards from my deck. All right, drawing seems dece. I mean, one. in Magic, we tend to like to draw three cards, but it's pretty powerful. Don't let a Yu-Gi-Oh player draw that many cards. Yeah, that's Under all any I'm gonna say about that. And next, I'm going to has he activated our trap card yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Next, I'm going to normal summon Magician's Rod. So this is a familiar one. It yep. lets me add a spell yep. or trap that mentions Dark Magician. So we'll just get a fusion card. This is why he keeps ending up with more cards than us. Yes. 
The card I'm going to get is Secrets of Dark Magic. I feel like I'm dead. Not I have yet. one card we're, on no, board we're, we're, and we're two in hand. We're, we're fine. We're good. We're, we're good. He, he, he doesn't have enough damage to okay. kill you. Yeah, definitely not. I, I don't. But yet. he has enough um, cards. Okay, so I'll use the effect of my Magician Soul so I can send up to two spell or trap cards to the graveyard from my hand or field. I'm going to be sending a trap from my hand and another trap from my field. This lets me draw two cards. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to activate this card, Terraforming, which lets me add a field spell card from my deck to my hand. Yeah. He just keeps doing stuff. Yeah, you know, it ends soon-ish. Um, I have a trap. How are the decks made? Dark Magicians, they, you know, yeah. they like to get a whole bunch of resources. Whereas Blue Eyes, they're just big, beefy dragons that like to just, like, trample things. Yeah. Y you made this deck, Larry. Yeah. So really, Why couldn't you make it better? I'm just, is um. Then I'll activate. Some, sometimes the cards just don't like you. I'll activate my field spell, Magician Salvation, so I get to pick up my deck and set an Eternal Soul from my deck. Mm. And it lets me set it directly to the field. So that'll be here. And also, it's got a second effect, but we'll find out about that in a moment. It's not good. I'm not following any of what he... I just get that he's winning. Then I'm going to activate a card called Secrets of Dark Magic. It lets me fusion summon using monsters on my field that include Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. So, we're going to do a little fusion summon of a particular monster. Which one do I want? Hmm. Oh, you don't have the Dark Magicians? It's not in here. Mm -mm. Do you have that language to the Pause. Side? Yeah, there's like one that's... It's not in there? It's really not in there. Yeah, it's not. Like, well, I'm thinking you lie. One that just takes two of them. I mean, I can make a different... Like, it's just, just not like, that big like, of a is, Yeah, is yeah, it's not off camera thing. real quick? You could just put I, it... Yeah, if, it if, it's not, if it's not in there, I don't know where else it should be. Oh, we'll just make something else. It's okay. I'll, I'll make... I, it's okay. I, I got Rewind. it. Yeah. Okay. So, this lets me do a fusion summon, and right. I'm going to fuse... I just realized we have a stack of cards here. Do we get to use those at any point? Oh, he's we, about to. We... We could have, but we haven't been able to summon any of them. We've only had one monster. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to fuse my Dark Magician from the field and my Illusion of Chaos from the hand. And that's going to let me fusion summon my Master of Chaos, which goes in the extra monster zone. And so a couple of different effects are going to activate here. Just one for now. When Master of Chaos is summoned, I can target a light or a dark monster in my graveyard and special summon it. I'm going to be targeting my dark magician in the graveyard. Okay. And it'll get special summoned to the field. All right. And since it was special summoned to the field, I get to activate two more effects. My dark magical circle will banish one of your cards, and my magician salvation, since I summoned a dark magician, I get to special summon a dark magician girl from my graveyard because it's got a different name. So, this will be chain link one, and this will be chain link two, and this will summon her from my graveyard. And then Dark Magical Circle will target and banish your trap card. Ah, but in response, our trap card activates to reveal target player exiles all cards. Huh? I wish it was that. I easy. wish it said that. Does, are there, <laughs> I wish it said that. You Just play along. You can't. He doesn't know what the cards do. That's right. You can't read it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, we're everything's this off. is banished. Yeah, so that's banished from the field, and then... This feels like overkill, Paul. This feels like overkill. I mean, you know... We got no cards! It, it might no be. Cards. And well, hold on. Don't concede yet, because he could ch choose or forget to attack, so... <laughs> he could forget, <laughs> yeah, to, could forget attack. to attack. I'm it's happened before. I've seen it. Enter my battle phase. All right. So all my monsters get to attack you. I'm going to attack you for 1,600 with Magician's Rod. I take 1,600 damage, and I go down to 8,000 minus 1,600. So yes. that puts you at 64. I'll attack you with another Magician's Rod for 1,600. Okay. So that's going to bring you down to 48. And then I'm going to attack you with my Master of Chaos for 3,000. So that'll bring you down to 18. And then I'm going to attack your life points directly with my Dark Magician for 2,500. Okay. I'm dead. And that's game, sir. Yeah. But you forget. What do you I here? am going to Black Lotus into an Ancestral Recall, which I get to draw three cards. No way. That works in Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. 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 
Could any of these win us the game right now if I had them just in my hand? No. Okay. <laughs> Good game. Good game, sir. If you would like to actually learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, you can go check out Team APS's YouTube channel, and you have a tutorial, I assume. Yes, I've, yes. Been I've, I've never to watched it because I just lived it. So you can experience <laughs> this level of technical know-how. How about a real game of Yu-Gi-Oh? Might be a good idea. If you'd like to watch a real game of Yu-Gi-Oh, well, we're going to have Team APS shuffle up and play in just a week. I'm on shuffle up and play. Today, we are playing Commander, but it's pre-EDH, which means no Commander pre-con cards whatsoever. We'll be playing Duran, the Siege Tower. Five, five, essentially, a five, a five, essentially a 5-5. It has five, zero five. power. I'm gonna put six mana spitting image. And you're also supposed to write legibly. It's like a Rorschach test. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon, if I defeat you at Commander, do I get to be on the rules committee? Uh, you do not. Brian. Which? Brian number one. Am I number one? Am I number one or am I the professor? <laughs> I do not own a Diamond Valley. And I'm wondering if anybody here has any objection if I just take this basic forest and write Diamond Valley on it so that I can play. Does anyone object? Yeah. All right. Nice, yeah. Any other things we need to say or add? I don't know, you wanna say anything? I'm good with it. Yeah. Was that, it? was, okay, questions. Mm -hmm. Post-game questions. Post-game questions. Was that a typical game of Yu-Gi-Oh? Like at a tournament, would that be how a game went? This was Depends. atypical, and we bricked on that opening hand. Yes. We didn't get to do much of anything. And, and looking at it, even though Dark Magician is just right now a better deck than Blue Eyes, because as you can see, Dark Magician, they do things, they get more cards, they Why search. Dark deck do things and do more cards? The Blue Eyes deck just naturally doesn't do that. Or it can, but it doesn't have as many cards that you can die easily get to. This is not as that. consistent. Yes. Would you uh, uh, agree? Would you agree, Paul and Alec, that this was a reflection less on my abilities as a player and more on Larry's abilities as a deck player, a deck builder? Like this is a reflection of Larry's deck. This building. this was Larry's yeah, deck. And this was Larry's deck. Yeah. I was doing really well. Technically, that's my deck too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess that, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's true. I mean, all I'm saying is, I think it was a very fair game. I think we both got to do plenty of plays that we wanted to do. We and these had decks were one monster. Very all right, evenly all right. matched. Here's a good question. Here's a good question. Magic players, many Magic the Gathering players would want to know this. Many Magic the Gathering players ask this question. How much would this deck cost me to buy if I went down to my local game store and I wanted to buy all the cards to this deck? That deck... So so we're talking a um a, a playable <laughs> spread it up this one this deck right here spread it a up. playable Let's spread it spread it 2022 blue eyes white dragon they're about to say deck. dollars oh no oh, gosh. gosh a playable 2022 blue eyes white dragon deck I mean we made a pretty simple one here just for, you know for for the dis for sake of display I should have made it less simple yeah um, Larry I did make it less simple so yeah how much would we pay to lose Let's see um. <laughs> Yeah, I guess how much is, is that Dark Magician? Oh, yeah, that makes the real question. I mean... A couple hundred dollars? About two hundred dollars. Two hundred for that? About. Probably a few hundred for this. Okay. Yes. Probably a few hundred for so, this. And is that indicative of Yu-Gi-Oh decks? Typically a couple hundred bucks I could go play at a tournament with a top tier deck? Average cost of a top tier deck. A little bit more than two hundred dollars. Add, add a couple hundred more. Okay. I, I think four hundred, and you're definitely in the ballpark. All right. Yeah. Are there any one thousand dollar decks that I would be playing as if, someone if, that turns into playing? If you truly, what they call it, bling it out. No, we the, say that in Magic too. We say <laughs> bling. Oh, yeah. okay. Like get the highest rarity of all the stuff. You know, top deck. Yeah. Meta, you know, you just go crazy. You, about a thousand dollars, yeah. Yeah, a thousand dollars sounds. Yeah, but if you didn't bling it out, like just you just need the cards. You just want to play to win. Yeah, the base maybe if that four hundred. Four hundred will get you. Yeah. Yeah. There's five. no yeah. there's no deck where the cheapest versions of every card would be like a thousand dollars for this deck. No. 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 Wow, boy, oh boy, is Magic an expensive hobby. What's a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards cost? 
Four dollars? Four yeah. bucks? Right. They just increased that price. Like. Yeah, yeah, us too. Yeah, yeah. Capitalism, am I right? <laughs> Inflation. Ugh. But a good game. Good game, good, good game. game, good, good game, game, everyone. Yeah. Let's shuffle up and play for real. <laughs> 